Good morning, everyone. Welcome to week three of at home learning. This morning, I'm going to go over the math section of the math of the lesson plan. Um, what I'm going to model for you today is similar to what we're going to be doing all week. So let's get to it. So it says create a number that is greater than 500. So you can pick any number, but it has to be greater than 500. So I'm going to pick a number. I'm going to pick 643. And I'm still going to write on the bottom my ones, tens, and hundreds place. Okay? So that's the first thing you do. Just create a number. The second thing you do is, is that number even or odd? And how do you know? Well, if you remember from class, an even number is a number that can be divided into two equal groups. An odd number is a number that cannot be divided into two equal groups. So if I have an example here, I have the number six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I divide that into two equal, into equal groups? Yes, I can. Two in this group, two in this group, two in this group. I could even do the threes and the threes. Can that be divided equally? Yes. So what happens if I have the number five? One, two, three, four, five. Can that be divided into equal groups? So two, two, oh, guess what? I have one that's left out. So is that going to be even? No, that's going to be odd. So five is odd, six will be even. So here's just a little quick reminder. Even are numbers that end in zero, two, four, six, eight. So no matter how many digits the number has, we always look at the last number, the last digit. Okay? Odd is one, three, five, seven, nine. So no matter, again, even with odd, no matter how many digits we might have, we always look at the last digit. So in this case, our digit is three. One, two, three. Can I divide that e into equal groups? Well, one, one, that can be a group. Oh, look, I have one left over. So when I have one left over, what is that? Correct, that is gonna be odd. And if you go back to our reference at the top, three is odd. But remember, we have to show our work. How do we know that? So that's why we do this. Good job, guys. Next, we're gonna draw a rectangle. Divide the rectangle into halves, two equal so halves are two equal parts, okay? So no matter what, when we cut something into half, it has to be equal. Um, I know the other day we had the last cookie. So me and Ryan, we had to divide it in half. So he had an equal part, I had an equal part. So we can be equal. Okay, so we have a rectangle. So in this case, there are three ways that you can divide a rectangle into halves, three ways. Um, on your paper, you can only, sh you can show me one way, but I'm gonna show you three. So I'm gonna do three rectangles. One, two, three. Okay guys, sorry if it's not the same size, but the same length, but we know that it is a rectangle. Okay, now if I go ahead And look at this one. The first one, we can divide it equally going horizontal. The next one is diagonally. Oh, is the same on equal sides? Yes. And this one is right down the middle. When you, and then it also says label each part using words. So these are three ways that we can um, divide a rectangle equally, okay? Now, if I divide down the middle, the two parts, what shapes are those? Yes, they are rectangles. Good job. Right here, if I divide the um, rectangle diagonally, 
What two shapes do they have? Correct, they are triangles. So rectangle, triangle, and if we do it right, if we divide it equally down the middle, what shape do they create? You are correct, they are squares. Okay guys, so that's all we're doing today. This should be 20 minutes or less. I actually did this in five minutes, so good job. So you can go ahead and, and make your own number, do what we just did, and pick any way, any uh, rectangle and divide into half any way you want. And we're gonna be doing this for the rest of the week. This is my model for what we're doing this week. Um, if you have any questions, please, please, please message me on Class Dojo. Or when we get in our Zoom conferences, please um, ask questions. Um, I'm here for you. Have a good day and a good rest of the week.